BMI, otherwise known as Body Mass Index, is a tool to supposedly tell you whether your weight is healthy. All you need to know is your height and your weight. If you weigh a lot for your height, it will classify you as overweight. Now, this gets a lot of criticism in the fitness industry because it doesn't actually tell you your body composition. It can tell you if you weigh a lot for your height, but it can't actually tell you if your body fat percentage is high. So, for example, my friends Trembolone, Terry and Anna Var Anna say that BMI is absolutely bullshit because they are both swollen as fuck and have shredded glutes, yet BMI says they're both overweight. On top of this, BMI doesn't cater for body fat distribution. Having a high waist circumference, a high waist to hip ratio, or a high waist to height ratio are better indicators of central adiposity. This means that they are probably more accurate predictors of cardiometabolic and mortality risk than BMI is alone. So to summarize this, it means that Trembolone Terry with his size triple XL t-shirt and 6% body fat could have the same BMI score as someone who doesn't go to the gym and has a very high waist circumference. Not only that, the relationship between BMI and cardiometabolic health can actually be skewed by things like ethnicity and age. So with all of this considered, BMI is obviously bullshit. That is what most of my fitness friends seem to say. But hold on, Let's stop the bus for a moment. Sure, BMI doesn't assess body fat percentage or body fat distribution like a DEXA scan would, but how many people have access to a DEXA scan? Just raise your hand. No, no, no. So even if DEXA scans were more popular, they are more expensive and more time consuming. So if you need it to measure a lot of people, they aren't exactly realistic. Also, just because BMI doesn't assess body fat percentage does not mean that it is useless. One study found that having a BMI over 30 had excellent predictive power of diagnosing obesity when compared to body fat percentage. However, it did still miss some people with excess fat, so someone could have a normal BMI, yet be considered obese by body fat percentage standards. And it is also true that someone who carries a lot of lean body mass could be misclassified as overweight or obese. But one study on American soldiers showed that the correlation between BMI and body fat percentage was actually very good. There was only a very small percentage of people that had so much lean body mass they were misclassified. So contrary to popular belief, BMI is not useless. Sure, it has many limitations, but it is quick, cheap, and non-invasive. Thank you.